Hello and welcome to our getting started video for Formstack Copilot. Copilot is our new workflow builder where you can design and automate processes to save time and get more done. With Formstack Copilot, you're able to combine the power of data collection and document generation alongside eSignature in a single workflow automation tool. With an easy to use drag and drop builder, giving you the power to build workflows in minutes, not months so technical teams can focus on what matters most. Formstack Copilot is still in beta and some of the things you see in this video are eligible to change. Please note, in this video, workflows refers to our Copilot beta workflows processes. It is not referring to our Forms workflow add-on feature. For today's example, we will be setting up a workflow between a student application form that we've already created and our Formstack documents and sign products to create a document that will go out for signature. Many Formstack users already have setups that connect forms, documents, and sign through our integrations. But with Copilot, you can build and manage multi-product workflows all in one place. To get started, we can log into Copilot from our app stack on the top right. Once logged in, we can create a workflow by clicking on the Create New button on the top right. From here, we can name our new workflow and create a description to establish the purpose of our workflow. In this case, we can name it Student Application. Once we've finished with our title and description, we can click on Continue. From this screen, we can drag and drop the applications from the left, or we can click on the Add symbol in the middle. To create our student application workflow, we want to first drag and drop the form application and then follow up with our documents application for step two and then form stack sign for step three. Now that we have our applications added, we need to make the appropriate edits to each step. We can either click on the top right of each application step or we can also click on the application itself to hop into the settings. To start, we're going to click on Forms. From here, we need to select the form that we'd like to use for this step. In this case, I've added our student application form, and we'll click on Next to move on to the next step to configure any mappings for this form. In this area, we have the opportunity to set any default values if needed. For example, let's say I'd like the default value for course to be Copilot 101. Once we're done with setting up our mapping, we can click on Done on the top right to finish our first step. Let's move on to our second step with Formstack Documents and click on Configure Step. From here, we want to select the document that we will be using. For this example, we have a student application document that's already been configured with signature and corresponding merge fields for the initial step. For each signature field you have on your document, you'll notice the total number of signers for each field on the right. Moving on to the next step to map our document, we want to map the corresponding fields from step one to the merge fields we've built into our document. In this case, we have the name, email, and any other additional fields that we'd like to bring over from our form. Once we've finished with mapping our second step, we can move on to configuring step three with Formstack Sign. From here, we can see on the top left-hand side that we have fields from the actual form that we can drag and drop for each participant. In this case, we want the first participant to be dynamic and can use the email address that was filled in on the student application form. I'll go ahead and drag and drop the email and name from the first step on the left. It's worth mentioning that you have the option to add a second participant right underneath the first one if needed. We can click on Next to continue to our Documents page. From here, we can choose if this will be a document from a previous step, like the one that is being merged using Formstack Documents. We also have the option to upload a brand new document or use a previously used document from Formstack Sign. If you're using a document from your Sign account or uploading a brand new one, you will see the option to configure mapping for this document. For this example, we're going to continue using the document that we've set up on our second step. Once we've finished selecting our document, we can move on to the next step, 
delivery. From this page, we want to name our document and we can configure any messages that we'd like for the participant to see and when they receive it. We also have the option to CC any additional emails and to set daily or weekly reminders if needed. Once again, you'll also notice that you can drag and drop any previously collected information from our first step from the left. In this example, we can drag and drop the name of the applicant on the configure message. Now that we've set up our final step, we can go ahead and click on done on the top right. Let's test out our new workflow to make sure everything is working as expected. On the top right, we can click on share to access our Copilot URL for the workflow that we've set up. We can go ahead and open this link in a new tab. From here, we will fill out the form as a new student and then hit submit. Once this first step has been completed, you can see that I have a follow-up email to complete the document. From here, I'll go ahead and sign, and you can see all of the information that has been brought over from the application. Now that the document has been signed, I'll receive a final copy that includes the signature for the student application. That's it for our getting started video on Copilot and how you can connect our Formstack Forms application to Formstack Documents and Formstack Sign. For any additional questions you might have, please remember that you can always contact our support team by clicking on the eye icon on the top right. Thank you for watching.